When I first heard that Judge Wolf had offered the university a space in this building, I was really excited about it, but when I realized where it was, then knowing it was right behind the courthouse, which is adjacent to the main plaza, this had to be something important. It was built to withstand a nuclear blast or riots. I started at the Alamo in May of 2000, so I was, I've been with this collection now for 17 years, almost, about 17 years. So the DRT library closed, it was forced to leave the Alamo grounds um, in the summer of 2017, um, and we packed it up and had, had to find a new home for it. A&M was wonderful and stepped up and said that they would accept it on loan. So um, then I applied for the job and was lucky to get to come with the collection. What's fun is every time somebody comes in to do research, they ask a question, do you have such and such? And it's really cool to look it up in the catalog, which is what I have to do. We go dig in it and I learn more and more about San Antonio's history and Texas history and the history of these people with every researcher that comes in. There's always a new story that unfolds. Some of my favorite pieces, we have a map that was hand drawn by Stephen F. Austin of Austin's Colony, a letter from one of the Alamo defenders as he was making his way to the Alamo. We have a cookbook from the 18, 18, 1860s, 1870s um, that was Mrs. McKinney's cookbook. So I just opened it up and it says relief from the bites of poisonous insects and it involves raw onions. <laughs> We don't use gloves with paper documents anymore. We use gloves for, for, for photographs, but for paper documents, if you, if you have gloves on, you lose that tactile ability. So what we do is we make sure we wash our hands before we handle the documents. journal. It's the Chronicles of Smith County and it is from 1962. What we have here are just photocopies. We don't seem to have the original just because probably due to conditions. Leslie is incredible. I've learned so much. Working with Leslie has really inspired me to look at careers in history beyond just you know, teaching at a secondary level. She's been with the collection for a very long time, so she knows that collection like nobody else. Marketplace. See how careful I can be. But it's a photo negative on a glass plate. It's literally glass. They, they would actually instead de develop the film as it was being taken so they actually put that in there into their camera and it shot it, it burned it onto the glass uh, what else we have it's definitely an honor um, it's been an honor to be with this collection for so long and to get to remain with the collection. Uh, it's, it's fun every day and every day I get to come to work and help people find things in this and, and if I know something about it already that's wonderful I can share with them and just to help them connect people with the information that's in the collection. I, I feel like this collection is my baby as I have said. Um, it, it's, uh, it, it does have a feeling of its own and lots of, and lots of stories in it. back together here. When we take one from the gallery and then some come back from the gallery from display then we have to just, and we pull some off the wall we just have to put it all back together like a puzzle so they're not necessarily in order that's why they're nice and visibly stored so that we can see where they are. There's some that have his notes all over them and they're just so cool looking. And now I'm not going to be able to find one that has any watch. So Maury Maverick, uh, definitely a San Antonio name. Um, but in it, he's kept notes about different cases that he wrote on the outside of his of the covers of the books. Across the room, I saw her ride on an empty table.
it, it makes me feel really blessed to be able to do what I do. It's fun when I get when get anybody excited about history, as I as I said, and as the students that have been working down here, they 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 quickly come to see where my passion comes from, and that's when researchers come in, and we learn about the stories that they're finding in this collection. Things I wish I could say, but it's fragile. Things we have for holding back on, but I can't.